Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park West. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Saturday. We had a couple of stakes races. We had Breeders' Cup races. What a day it's been. Let's go to those track and weather conditions. The main track is fast. The turf course firm. The first race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf. These are claimers, Phillies and Mass, three-year-olds and up. Scratch the number five, Valley Day. Couple of jockey changes on the seven. It's Diego Gomez. And on number 10, make the run of Dick Cardenas. Now goes forward. They're in the gate. And the race is on. Good start for the favorite, Sandriff. Winning game a little bit quicker, though. And winning game going to go up with Starship Gussie and down along the inside, Baby Isabella. And it's Starship Gussie who now assumes command. Baby Isabella down toward the inside of winning game. They're out second and third. Moving out between the horses, Gia Joe's up into that fourth spot. A wine trip here from Moonlit Sea, who from the outside got over to about the three path. Down toward the inside, the great secret of life is next. Length and a half more to my Francesca. Sandriff, who broke sharply, settles back third last. After that is Tropicality. It's two more then back to Dubai, and who's the trailer? So they make their way on to the back stretch. And up on the front end, Starship Gussie. Jose Bautista wanted the lead. He has it by a length and a half to winning game who's running along in second. Gia Joe in the blue colors is out in the clear in third. Secret of Life starts to gain a touch of ground. Moonlit Sea also advancing up on the far outside. They've both gone by. Baby Isabella, who's back a couple of spots, shuffled back along the rail. My Francesca starts to make a little bit of move. Sandrift, the favorite, still bottled up down toward the inside, has drawn to within six, but there's a tight pack there in the middle. They go toward the far turn. Starship Gussie still there. Starship Gussie there by length. Winning game is in that second spot. In behind them comes Secret of Life. A wide journey here for Moonlit Sea. Gia Joe just in behind that one. Sandriff still waiting for room. Going to stick toward the inside as Starship Gussie leads him into the stretch. Starship Gussie there by a length. On the outside winning game, Sandriff continues to make up ground down along the inside with Secret of Life. Final furlong time now. Here's winning game and Secret of Life up alongside Starship Gussie. Sandriff looks for room but Secret of Life and Starship Gussie go on. Sandriff with 60 more yards now to push on by. Getting to the lead is Secret of Life, Sandrift on the outside, Secret of Life to win it. Sandrift did get up for second, Starship Gussie was third, Tropicality flew late to get fourth. Number nine, Secret of Life closes to win it. Nice ride by jockey Nick Juarez. That horse pays $11.40 to win, owned by Robert Slack and trained by Rohan Crichton. The second race, six furlongs. These are claimers, fillies, and mares, three-year-olds, and up with jockey change on the three. Papa's little girl make the run a semi at Camacho. And the race is on. Good start for Nonsense, who goes right out to the front. From the outside, chic and sexy right there. Princess Latina, the other favorite coming through to challenge now. And it is going to be Nonsense and Princess Latina, the two favorites hook up early on. Chic and sexy is back in third. Rose Path down toward the inside fourth, about two and a half off the dueling favorites up front. It's three more, then back to Shall Return, and Papa's Little Girl is the trailer. They have a half mile left to go in their journey, and up on the front end, Princess Latina and Nonsense. Those two bank into the turn, two lengths ahead of Chic and Sexy, who gets a good trip in the third position. Princess Latina just just had to check out of there. Princess Latina just lost a spot as Sheik and Sexy goes around that one into the second spot. Rose Path is fourth, about three off the lead. It's two more then back to Shaw Return and Papa's Little Girl trying to get going from the back. But Nonsense leads him to the quarter pole. On the outside, Sheik and Sexy getting a little bit closer. They're a length and a half ahead of Princess Latina who's still struggling back in third as Nonsense turns for home in front. It's Nonsense off the turn now, a three and a half length lead. Down the outside, Shaw Return starting to warm up to the task. Princess Latina is back into the bit between runners, but a final six 16th to go, and it's still nonsense there. Nonsense in command. Papa's little girl shall return down the outside. Princess Latina, but it's nonsense who's going to go on to win it here. Nonsense by two in the end. Papa's little girl made up some ground against second. Princess Latina, third, fourth, went to shall return. Number four, nonsense. <laughs> no nonsense with this win. $7.60, owned by Big Bang Racing LLC, trained by Armando de la Cerda, and ridden to victory today by MCL. Jaramillo. We're taking a short break. When we come back, we'll have race number three. The best chance for success begins with a solid foundation. At Hardacre Farm, early personal one-on-one -on -one care starts the journey to becoming a champion. Bred to leading stallions, our mares represent the highest standards. Hardacre Farm's signature in the breeding industry. Based in Ocala, Florida, Breeder and owner Amy Tarrant has inspired excellence throughout her entire career. In your quest for success, start with Hardacre Farm, breeding the champions of tomorrow. 
Welcome back to third race. Seven and a half furlongs on the turf. It's allowance for state bred Phillies and Bears, three year olds and up. Jockey change on the three. Lovely, lovely. Make the runner, Semi Camacho. And the race is on. Shot at the Brit broke well from the inside. Avocado Toast between runners and Shifty She is right there. Those three fastest right across the line. There's another lineup of three just in behind. What a beaut, Stormy Nelly. And here comes Jackie, going to be very wide into that first turn. It's about five or six more lengths than back to Lovey Lovey, who's a distant trailer early on. But up on the front end, it is Avocado Toast to lead him by a length. Stormy Nelly up into that second spot. Here comes Jackie, continues a wide journey to put a nose into third. Shifty She stays down toward the inside in that fourth position. It's another length back to What a Butte and Shot at the Brit. They race in tandem fifth and sixth. And they're a length and a half ahead of Lovely Lovey, who's a little bit closer now. And only about seven lengths cover the group with four and a half furlongs remaining. Up on the front end, Avocado Toast, Stormy Nelly putting a little more pressure now on from that second spot. Length more then back to Shifty She, who's down on the inside in third. Here comes Jackie up from the outside in that fourth position as Charlotte the Brit stays glued to the fence in fifth. What a beaut, going to be three deep as they go to that turn and Lovely Lovey still trails. Avocado Toast takes them to that far turn, a half length in front. Up into the second spot, Stormy Nelly getting a little bit closer now on the outside and Stormy Nelly right up on level terms. Length and a half more back to What a beaut, who starts that move. Down on the inside, Shifty She is back to the fourth spot. Here comes Jackie. Has to do a little bit better as they come to the top of the stretch. Avocado Toast. Here's What a Butte in the pink colors down the center of the course. Shifty She stays down toward the rail. Lovey Lovey trying to get going from the back. A little bit of a tough trip there for Charlotte the Brit who had to tap on the brakes. Final furlong time now. Shifty She and What a Butte. Those two go on. Shifty She a narrow leader. What a Butte is second. Lovely Lovey down the outside. Here's What a Butte up on the outside of Shifty She. These two for the final 50 yards. It's a photo finish. Looked like it might have gone to Shifty She, but it is close. What a Butte was right there. Lovely Lovey the gray. Finished up in third. Shifty She stalks the pace and wins. Nice ride by Edgar Zayas. Pays eight dollars and twenty cents. That horse bred by Chris Fallis and George Klein. The fourth race, six and one half furlongs. Maiden claimers, Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. A couple of jockey changes on the one. It's Andre Ramjeet, and on the number three horse, it's Santiago Gonzalez. And the race is on. Cat Quick broke very well from that outside draw. Moving up down toward the inside comes Trini Sunset, also right there in La Chalupa, and down along the rail, Discrimination. It's going to be La Chalupa to put a nose in front of Cat Quick and in between horses, Trini Sunset. So the three outside runners fastest onto the main track. They're two and a half ahead of Tails of VK, who moves up outside of Discrimination. Gracie's Dream just in behind them in the sixth spot. It's three and a half or four more. Back to La Guatemalteca and Homily is at the back. Got to be spotting this leader about ten with a half mile left to go in their journey. Up on the front end, this three-way battle continues. La Chalupa, Trini Sunset between horses and Cat Quick, the favorite, cast out three wide, but Cat Quick is going nicely into the turn, putting a nose in front of Trini Sunset in second. La Chalupa passed for third as that spot now belongs to Taylor VK, who's moving up nicely on the outside. Discrimination tries to rally up the inside. Homily is out of last, starting to make up some ground. Cat Quick still the leader. Tails of VK moving with a four wide move, coming after this favorite now as they come to the quarter pole. It's Cat Quick. Tails of VK going right along with that one. Trini Sunset back to the third spot. Discrimination tries to rally up in four. Three sixteenths of a mile left to go. Cat Quick under a left hand. Tails of VK on that one's outside. They come to the furlong pole. Pretty inseparable. Cat Quick maybe a half length in front. Tails of VK down the outside with 100 yards to push on by. Late run down the far outside from Discrimination and Gracie's Dream. But Cat Quick is still finding on the lead. And Cat Quick going to win it here by a length in the end. Second went to Tail of VK. Third, Gracie's Dream. And fourth, Discrimination. Number eight, Cat Quick. Quick scores as the favorite and pays three dollars and eighty cents to win. Owned by Goldmark Farm, trained by Bob Hess Jr., and ridden to victory by apprentice Christian Torres. Fifth race, one mile on the turf. These are maiden two-year-olds. Some jockey changes in the scratch. Jockey on the three, Roberto Alvarado Jr. On the eleven, it's Marcos Meneses. Scratch the twelve, Super Edgar. And our race is on. Good start for King Guillermo, who's sent hard for early speed. African Heritage way in good order. Census also part of the early mix. And I'm more ready from the far outside. Rodeo Red is right there in that second flight as four of them line up in behind King Guillermo. It's another break of two, then back to Causalistic. Express Boys up in between horses. Quick enough right to that one's outside. Another break of two more. Back to Jolton Joe, the favorite who has two beat at this point. Those are Speaker It and Bushido's Way, who's the trailer. Six furlongs to go in their journey. King Guillermo leads it by a length. African Heritage, the gray up into that second spot as Census rides the rail in third. 
Three deep trip here for more. I'm more ready. Who's into that fourth spot? Kozalistic is fifth. Jolton Joe is starting to is drop back second last. Rather, is passed by quick enough in Rodeo Red. Express Boy in the mix, and it's another two and a half. Then back to Speaker It, and a long, long last now to Bushido's Way. has got to be 20 lengths behind. Half mile left to go in their journey, and King Guillermo has made every yard thus far as Census now takes up the chase from second. African Heritage back a couple of spots as Kozalistic goes by that one. Jolting Joe is starting to make his way through traffic. As I'm more ready, going to be three deep into that turn. Quick enough, also trying to rally up, but they've got to come get King Guillermo. King Guillermo midway on the turn has opened up a six-length advantage. Kozalistic takes up the chase now into second as Census is back in third. Jolting Joe saving ground toward the inside. In between horses there is quick enough. King Guillermo, though, comes into the stretch with a Seven length lead, Kozalistic and Jolton Joe second and third, but King Guillermo is who they got to catch. He's about eight lengths in front past the eighth pole. Kozalistic, Jolton Joe. Now Jolton Joe takes over second. King Guillermo past the 16th pole. It's all King Guillermo went right to the front, never looked back. King Guillermo by about eight lengths. King Guillermo, a popular victory here. Jolton Joe was second, third to Kozalistic and fourth. Went to quick enough. Number seven, King Guillermo was so much the best and it just drew off the win. It pays $11 even for Victoria's Ranch, trained by Juan Carlos Avilla, and that gives jockey MCL Jaramillo his second victory on the card. We're taking a break. When we come back, we'll have race number six. We're back for our sixth race of the afternoon, a five and a half furlong sprint. These are claimers, three year olds and upward. Jockey change on the number nine, make the rider Ray Lu Gutierrez, scratch the 11, revolving star. And the race is on. Bit of a slow start for Reagan's heart. Starship Taxi goes right out to the front. Sierra Una Volta Cabre from the outside right there in amongst horses. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Also in that front firing line as well. Down along the inside elusive row as Dream of God moves outside of that one. The top six only separated by two and a half here. Break of three more then back to return the star who's away in seventh. Piece of cord with two beat early on. Those are day in the slow starting Reagan's heart. So the big scramble goes into the fire turn. And up on the front end, Cabre outside of Starship Taxi. Dream of God, three wide here, but coming up at those leaders. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And the black colors just in behind in the fourth spot. Coming through outside of that one comes Sierra Una Volta. It's two more then back to return the star in elusive row. Many chances as they come to the top of the stretch. Cabre on the outside to put a nose in front. Dream of God tries to go with that one. Starship Taxi battles on toward the inside. Shoulda, woulda, coulda looms just in behind them. Down the outside, Sierra Una Volta. Final furlong to go. And it's Cabre and Starship Taxi. These two coming to the 16th pole. They're two and a half ahead of Dream of God. Elusive Row is getting going down the count, crown of the track. Cabre has to make another 50 yards. Elusive Row right down the outside. Cabre, here's Elusive Row on the outside. Elusive Row looked to get there. Very close, though. Cabre right there. Starship Taxi had to settle for third. Number one, Elusive Row closes down the center of the track and pays $9.40 to win. Owned by Frank, Carl Calabrese, trained by Angel Rodriguez, and ridden to victory today by Jose Batista. The seventh race, a co-feature event this afternoon. It's the $75,000 Sellers Shiraz. This is a stakes for Philly three-year-olds. Jockey change on the number five. Make the rider Santiago Gonzalez. And our race is on in the Seller Shiraz stakes. Red Rider from the outside broke pretty well. Down toward the inside, Beautiful Ballad has speed. Also, Ionic right alongside that one, and Adamant comes up to join that second flight. But it is Beautiful Ballad who takes him by the wire in front by two the first time around. Adamant up to a clear-cut second. Ionic is third as Red Rounder moves up outside of La Australiana. Down to their inside is enlisting. Those three line up about two and a half ahead of Isla Road, who's second last. And at the back early on is Rocky. So beautiful ballad takes him through that first turn in front by three as Adamant moves into that clear cut second spot. It's two and a half more then. Back to Ionic who stays toward the inside in third, about four and a half off the lead. Red Rounder is in the clear in the four spot, enlisting right inside of that one. Length and a half more then. Back to Iraqi, who moves up on the outside of La Australiana, and it's another three then. Back to Isla Road, who spots these leaders about nine with four furlongs left to go. 
They run toward the far turn. It's been all beautiful ballad thus far. Beautiful ballad still in front by three. Iona creeps up into that second spot now. Adam in back a position in third. It's another break of two then. Back to Red Rounder and listing. They're in tandem. Just inside of them, Rocky moves toward the rail. La Australiana had to tap on the brakes there, and Isla Road is still last. Meanwhile, up front, beautiful ballad is well clear with Ionic right to their outside. They've now gone five lengths ahead. Down along the inside, Rocky trying to rally up into contention. Beautiful ballad and Ionic. These two in their own private little match race, and Ionic just went to the front. Beautiful ballad going to have to counter toward the inside. They're still four or five lengths ahead of Isla Road, who was last early on, but is making up some ground. Final furlong now, and Ionic going to have to hold off Isla Road, who's starting to charge. Beautiful ballot back toward the inside. It's Ionic with a 16th left to go. Isla Road and Amicio Jaramillo getting closer. They're going to dive toward the inside. Ionic, here's Isla Road down along the rail. Ionic looked to get it. Isla Road second. La Australiana was third, and Beautiful Ballad finished fourth. Number two, Ionic scores. Nice ride by Edgar Zayas. His second win today, owned by Catherine Mills and trained by Arno Delacour. The eighth race, a one mile event. These are maiden two year olds, and we have a jockey change on the eight point winner. Make the run in Marcos Meneses. They're in the gate. And the race is on. Slow start there and a stumble for A. Capote. Dream Dioro flashing good early speed. Frank first is right there in Blessed Journey. Those three right across the track as they go to that first turn. Easy stride and Blazing Desire able to get over to about the four path is down along the inside. Fort McHenry, the favorite, cut the corner and passed a couple runners. Nice job there by the red rider Edgar Zayas to get the favorite up into contention. Two more then, a back to Soros who came away in that seventh spot. Point winner is ahead of two who are at the back. Those are Winter at Bastogne and A. Capote after that stumbling beginning spots these leaders about 15 with five and a half furlongs remaining. Up on the front end now. Fort McHenry could wait no longer. And Edgar Zayas sends the favorite right up to the lead. Dream Dioro back to second. They're too clear of Blessed Journey in third. The gray Frank first is down toward the inside in that fourth spot. Soros is tugging up into that fifth position. Easy stride, Blazing Desire. They race in tandem in fifth and sixth. They're two ahead of point winner, and it's a long way back to the other pair. They head there toward the far turn. Fort McHenry trading punches with Dream Dioro. These two into the turn. Soros continues that long sustained bid, and Soros now all the way up to second, a length and a half behind Fort McHenry. Henry as they go past the 3 eighths pole. Under a drive is Dream Dioro. Blessed Journey could not go on. Trying to rally out from the back is Easy Stride. As they come to the quarter pole, though, Fort McHenry cruising along. Fort McHenry in front by two and a half. Soros all in from that second spot, being pushed along, trying to come after this longtime leader. It's six more lengths then. Back to Blessed Journey, who's trying to rally up with Blazing Desire down along the inside. Final furlong to go. Fort McHenry still has to make 200 yards. Soros going to try to get there. Has now 150 yards left to go. Fort McHenry still in front a length and a half. Soros on the outside of second. They are well, well clear from Ike Capote, who's rallying up on the outside from third. But Fort McHenry is home. Fort McHenry to win it here by about three and a half, four in the end. Soros was second. Ike Capote up for third. Fourth looked like easy stride. Number four, Fort McHenry, a half brother to the one and only California Chrome, scores easily and pays $4 to win. Owned by Derek Smith, Mrs. John Magner, and Michael Tabor, ridden by Edgar Zayas. His third victory on the card and trained by Todd Pledger. We'll take a break when we come back for race number nine. We'll have the late Daily Double. Whether you're at home or at the track. Have a stake in the race when you bet with ExpressBet. Sign up for an ExpressBet online betting account and receive up to a $500 sign-up bonus. Welcome back. Our ninth race of the afternoon, our co-feature event, one mile on the turf for three-year-olds. It's the $75,000 guaranteed the showing up. Jockey change on the 11, make the right of Emisial Jaramillo. And our race is on and the showing up. Good start for Royal Earn Out Wide in between horses champagne on me. Here's Well Defined in the green colors coming through. Also right there, Sovereign Warrior and Higgins. So it is going to be Well Defined in between horses Higgins and a three deep Sovereign Warrior. Those three speed away. They open up four lengths on champagne on me who's back and forth. Royal Earn moves up to that one's outside in the fifth spot. Then we come back to the Black Album Sterling Drive. They're in tandem in seventh and eighth. They're three ahead of Scraps. The favorite came away next. It's another length in. Back to Forever Mo. Outside that one comes LaHinch and at the back early on is New Year. So that battle up front continues. Down on the inside, well-defined. Battling on up front. 
On the outside, there is Sovereign Warrior, and those two have pulled about five lengths ahead of Higgins, who dropped off that pace battle, going to settle back in third. Inside of that one comes Champagne on me in the fourth position. Royal Erd stays out in the clear in fifth. Sterling Drive is sixth. The Black Album had to tap on the brakes momentarily there, is still seventh. It's four more then back to Scraps, who's eighth and already spotting these leaders about ten as they go toward the far turn. Up on the front end, it's still well-defined, and Sovereign Warrior, those two continue to do battle. Now moving up to their outside, Sterling Drive makes a bold move, and Sterling Drive goes after the lead. Royal Earn is just in behind horses, looping up four wide. The Black Album is starting to rally up. Scraps making up some ground. Also trying to get going is Forever Mo as they come toward the top of the stretch, and it's Sterling Drive the leader. Sterling Drive off the turn a length and a half. Forever Mo winding up on the outside. In between horses, the Black Album trying to get going with Royal Earn. Sterling Drive has to make another furlong. Here's Forever Mo right down the outside. The Black Album dives toward the inside, and Scraps is also making up ground late. A final 16th to go. Sterling Drive is still there. The Black Album here's Scraps down the far outside. Sterling Drive pleading for the wire. The Black Album up the inside. Sterling Drive in the Black Album. It's a head bobbing photo between those two. Scraps look to get third with Forever Mo Fort. Number seven, Sterling Drive would not be denied. $18.60 for NTS Stable Incorporated. Trained by the one and only Milt Wilson and ridden to victory today by Sammy Camacho. Tenth and final race, six furlong maiden claimers, two-year-olds, jockey change on the two, make the rider Jose Batista. And the race is on. Bit of a slow start there for Inano Estray. Good start for Catcon. Quick from the outside. Capitan Fofo, Poznan right there, and a silver connection coming through down along the inside to challenge. With Verve is also right there in the early line. Tovari Tovar came away six, but only two and a half off the lead. Dr. G's Gold's up on the outside. Coming through toward the inside is Volunteer Navy as With Verve dropped back a couple of spots. It's another three or four more back to Billy Bones and a long way last to Anano Estray after that bad beginning. Trails these leaders by about 15. Cat Gone Quick goes into the far turn. Leads it by a length and a half to Tovari Tovar, who puts a great nose into that second spot. Silver Connection is third. Capitan Fofo pushed along from the fourth spot. Dr. G's Hope is back in fifth, about four and a half off the speed. With Verve is back into the bit, starting to make up some ground. Cat Gone Quick is still the leader. Cat Gone Quick there, but only by a neck. In between horses now, coming up is Silver Connection. They turn to the top of the stretch. Cat Gone Quick, Silver Connection battling on as well. Down the outside is Poznan, who's putting in a bid. In behind horses, With Verve is back into the bit. Final furlong time now. Silver Connection puts a nose in front. Cat Gone Quick in between horses with Verve. Poznan down the outside with Verve. A tremendous effort here. With Verve had some traffic trouble, had to check, and is going to go on to win it here. With Verve by almost two and a half, three in the end. Silver Connection was second, third. Cat gone quick, and fourth went to Poznan. Number five with Verve closes for Hall of Fame jock Edgar Prado. Wins the nightcap. What a nice ride. Owned by Eric Worth. Trained by Larry Bates. And that ends up Saturday's racing. We're back here on Sunday. And don't forget to change your clocks. And we have a first race post of 1.20 p.m. Write that down at 8 race card. Once again, about 2 in the morning, change those clocks. Let's spring ahead, fall back. You put it back. I always remember that. So good night and good luck. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.